We'll be at the Off-Road Record Games in Hurricane, Utah next week. We're going up as, uh, as not as competitors or judges, but we're going to go up and hang out. I'm hoping to see a bunch of you guys. If you see us, come and hit us up. We'll have a limited number of stuff to uh, give away. So. This is the craziness that's going on in California right now. We woke up to... And it's ice now. Look up the snow at the shop. Once since I've been alive, too many years to count, has there been snow here? Well, snow that's stuck. We get a few little flaky flakies, but we got our crap covered in snow. So we're gonna go out and get the shop warmed up. Our main cameras uploading. We're talking to you on this one. It's not very good. You can see the mic hanging on me. It's not on this camera, it's on our main camera. But <clears throat> we're gonna get a little extra heat fired up in the shop this morning and see if we can't get things warmed up enough to go to work. All right, so show you the snow here. We're, surprisingly, we're at about 750 feet of elevation and only about, I don't know, a 20 minute drive from the Pacific Ocean. So to get snow here is pretty weird, still, hovering right around just above the freezing mark outside this morning got the bunsen burner heater running trying to warm things up just a little bit here in the shop uh, looks like today is brake lines brake line tabs we'll get all that headed out and see if we can't make this thing stop we're approaching the point very quickly that uh go is going to be our limiting factor so Brannock is taking care of the shafts for us. We'll have those here in a week or two and we'll get this thing under its own power and then it's off to the next project. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel, leave us a comment, let us know that you're watching. Helps us with the U2's secret algorithm, but let's get to work. It's one thing if your back hurts and you're like, ah, oh, that was dumb. I shouldn't have done that. When your back hurts and you have no idea why, it just makes you grumpy. So we can come back down here farther to make this come out correct. Or I can do, I can bend a little 90 into it to make it come out like we want. No, it's never going to get any closer than it is right now. And the one on the inside is a vent line, so I really don't care about it. Who'd have thought you had to do all this figuring just to get brake lines in, right? You would think that it would just be, okay, put them in, we're good to go. Now the next big question is, do I put a service loop in the brake line over there, or do I not, and just call it going to be good enough? And I guess I don't have to. So I could just come straight into here and then make my bends to get me up to here. If we go like this, that'll be just perfect. So I'll make another little 90, just like the one that I made back there. Yeah. I'll run hard line between there and there. Yep. This will come down to here. Yep. And That'll then we'll hard line yep. from here to out there. to like right here. Yep. And then we'll hang the caliper and then it'll come off the caliper out to here and then over this to one of these fittings, which will be right here. Yeah. And everybody will be happy. Right, Jack? I love the way that the spline lugs fit, but having to have a special freaking wrench for them is just a pain in the butt. I will build a, uh, a little tool kit of some sort. To... Ready? 
brick pad. Just need to pop down in there. Like sheesh. so easy to get in there not because if you push them in too far okay I think that'll be perfect that'll be fine oh, uh. Okay, now jack it up just a little bit. Crap, usually we don't film on uh, on Sundays, but everybody's gone from here. Shannon's flight got delayed, so she won't be until late tonight. So I'm out here playing. I am doing some brake, brake line continuation. Built this tab, I'll take you over. I gotta build another one. I'll take you over and show you what we're doing with these. Built the tab. Got my hard line, skirted around there. I know it doesn't look like it, but it does clear everything. We'll put a little hanger right here in it. we can get that. This guy here is a snake to get around everything. I'll get some mounts put in here, get it all tweaked in exactly like it needs to be. We might need to raise this one up a little bit. Believe it or not, I, uh, I missed a bend just a little bit and it's this one which is a little long and I could compound bend it but I'm not sure that I want that extra little wonky piece in it so I might just leave that guy let it be what it is not exactly what I wanted but it'll be close enough close enough for a buggy at least tripod as much anymore I know it's uh not quite as entertaining but just me so this is what you get I just wanted to show you what we got what we're working on so these are the little fittings to go from brake line to dash 3 an style fitting and i'm building some tabs for these so i measured them out about six hundred and twenty five thousandths or so which if you do the math is right roughly about five eighths so to make my life easier what i've done i've just taken a piece of 12 gauge by one inch wide flat strap and I just come in here with the old cheap metal step bit and I give her the eyeball about yay because this isn't super critical I don't really care that it comes out dead dead middle I'd like it to be as tight as possible we're getting close That's it. So that'll give us this little boss here indexes in. We have some clips we picked up at parts house. Clip in the back of these and hold them just like your OEM car. But that is the premise of our tab. Then what we do is I'll thread this guy in here. Thread my AN hose on. We'll come in like yay. And that should give us clearance everywhere here. And make sure everybody fits nicely. Then I'll take my calipers, because I know where I want to be in relationship to my tube. We'll just take a rough measurement with the calipers. And we're gonna go, let's see if half inch is enough. We'll go 500 thousandths. We'll take this 500 thousandths, we'll make that from the bottom of our hole down to the cutoff point for our tab. We'll cut it off, bring it back over here, take this loose, slide us on, tack it all in, and then make sure everybody's happy. Then we'll go back and we'll put their little rubber insulated clips on the rest of our line, tack our bolts in, bolt everything down, and we'll be nice and rigid and tight. We'll probably put a guy here so that we can get around here where we want to be that way everybody's happy just enough to make things stick this is that copper coated soft bend line so it forms pretty easy but i think we like i think we'll be all right 
but we're gonna go with that anyhow right wrong or indifferent give you a little closer look you got that piece bent around the air down there back over to our little T little flex joint in it there and then it runs down that rail all right I'm gonna get this tacked up a little better We'll be back at you in a minute. We'll be at the Off-Road Record Games in Hurricane, Utah next week. We're going up as, uh, as not as competitors or judges, but we're going to go up and hang out. Close friends of ours are putting it on, and as you guys know, Paul from Fab Rats is close friends of ours. A lot of you guys came over from his channel. We're building on that, hoping to, to get a little more work done with that. Hoping to see a bunch of you guys. If you see us, come and hit us up. We'll have a limited number of stuff to uh, give away. So, All right, we're going to call it a night. feel like we've got a good run at the day, so we're going to get on out of here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and we'll catch you on the next one.